All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video, this time focusing on the Linux Offset Club online war game. You can check it out at linux.offset.club uh, with your web browser, just anywhere on the internet. And let's jump back into it. We are on level or user four. Let me get into the folder that we dedicated for it. And user four, if you can remember, was a kind of SSH private key. So we were connecting to it after we have modified the permissions on that file so that only we can view the private key. We were connecting to that account with user four at linux.offsec.club, but we noted that had an identifier and using that tech I, we were using the user four dot text as our private key. So without having to have to enter a password because our private key is acting like that for us, we are logged in as user four here. Okay, cool. Nothing in uh, ls by default, so let's use the hidden ones. Check out the hidden files there, ls tech a. Oh, hey, we can see a .git. Is this a git repository? I try to see if I had git installed. Looks like we do have git installed in this, in this uh, server. It came back with a help file, not a command not found. So I can try like git log. Oh, okay, not really a git repository, even though we have this .git folder. Whatever, let's check out that .git folder. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, there's a hidden folder dot no look. Let's check that out. Oh boy. Okay. There it is. Uh, whatever that is. Um, I don't know if you remember the tactic from the last video where you used, um, the star or the asterisk to kind of act as a wild card and fill out whatever we needed to CD that. Okay. It worked again. More random garbage files again. Oh man. Okay. Holy cow. There's just more stuff in this. You'll see this goes on and on and on forever and ever. Um, so uh, what I did at this point is I ran the find command. And this is a lot of disgusting output. But you can see um, kind of at the top, it looks like a tree of files and folders as we drill down into the file system and all these really horribly named folders that are supposed to be difficult for us to type in and connect to, or not connect to, but change directory into. Um, and it goes and extends on and on and on. Um, eventually we see a dot password and a dot and a password dot text. Okay. So what I'm going to do now as kind of a cheap, cheap hack, not a hack, but a good, a good trick is use grep, um, to find a pattern to find anything. And I'm going to use attack R capital R flag here to make it recursive. If you check that out in the man pages, it tells you that that is to read through every single file in every directory recursively. So if I use grep tack R, it'll look through every file. And if I want a pattern to search for as a period or the regular expression thing for just anything, okay, it returned in this file all the way, all the way, all the way in this file structure to password.txt. It contains the string cloud gift multi 49. Okay, cool. That must be our password for user five. So Let's take note of that. And let's get back into user five. Let's try it. We don't need this tack I anymore because we're just going to log into the password user five and paste that password in. Cool. We're logged in. That was the password to user five. Now what have we got? Oh, we've got the password.txt just laying here, but we don't have the permission to read it. Okay. What is this? Hmm. So it looks like password.txt is owned by root and the group password. Everyone, or at least root, can read it. And only the group password can read it and execute it too. I don't know why you would ever execute a text file. Um, but okay, what am I? All right, we are user5 in group challenges. Okay, so we can read this group.txt file, but we're not in the group password. So what is this group.txt file? Okay, it looks like a snippet of the man page for the sg command, which will let you execute commands as a different group ID. So not like we're, you may be used to like the su command or sudo, like su do, like you would to try and run a command as a super user or a switch user or as another user, SG will let us run a command as a different group. So let's check it out. Okay, kind of just a help message. It says SG group, the group that we're trying to use. And looks like taxi in the command that we run. Okay, 
let's try that. SG, we know the group's name was password, right? And we can use taxi ID just to see who we really are at this point, if that, if that evaluates, if that works. It asks us for a password. Let's use the same one that we had from user5, user5.txt. You can copy and paste that if you don't already have it in your clipboard. Let's paste it here. And the ID command executed, cool. So we are user five, and now we're in the password group. So that must be working properly. We must be evaluating this command ID as the group, or as part of the group password, as part of the password group. Okay, so let's update this command. And now that we are running from the group password, we should be able to read this password.txt file because the permissions state that anyone in the group password can see here it can read it so let's try cat password dot text use the password that we have right now cool and we get the password for user number six softbone found 59 whatever let's call that user six dot text sweet and let's jump to that user paste that in there I don't think I had it copied. Did I? Did I not? Oh, no, I did. Okay, cool. It was just a slow connection. Let's close that guy. What have we got now? Password.txt is right in here. My connection is a little slow right now. Whoa! A lot of garbage, a lot of nonsense. Okay. Big binary file or stuff that we just can't read. Let's control C to break out of that. Cool. So, Let's use some capture the flag mindset here. Uh, I don't want all of the contents of this file. I just want the plain text readable strings. And we can check those out with the strings command. I'm going to run this here. Looks like it's getting some new line characters. Oh, but it does get what looks like a password for user 7. Sweet. Let's, uh, let's take note of that one. Disconnect, connect back to user7, log in with that password, and we're in. Awesome. Cool. Uh, another quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, just running through the users and the challenges in the Linux Offset Club war game. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll jump into users, I guess, 6 through 9 or like 7 through 9 now. Yeah, whatever, whatever we got next. The, the next three. Who cares? <laughs> All right. See you all later.